And is this your first film drive? Yes, my first. Tell me your impressions of your first film drive. It's actually way better than I thought. There's a lot more people than I thought, and a lot more motivation. And uh, yeah, I like the crowd. And so it's very including. You feel like you, everyone can be here in their own terms. Um, tell me, what is the most important thing uh, affecting young disabled people in Norway? In Norway? Well, I would say that it's the danger of the PA's gone missing. Like, the PA has to be, prison assistant has to be a, a right so that people can get in educated. Because it's a fact that people struggle to get works, work everywhere, but without like, education, you have less chance. So, education is like our main goal to, to get to work and to get an education, most people need a PA. Yeah, so to get the means to get an education. Say. What's the one key message you would tell European Parliament? I would say that in today, in 2013, we should have gotten further. That young people, young disabled people, has a lot of competence. And we have a lot of important competence. Not just to be used in, <clears throat> in groups where, where disabled issues are at stake or at hand, but also in, in normal jobs, if you have something you can call normal that my competence is as important as a teacher, or as a counsellor, or as a computer worker, anything. That uh, we are also to be reckoned with, and we are a part of the workforce. And to, yeah, to reckon with us, and to, to respect us enough to let us get our chance, as other people too. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> At the moment we have relationship, accessibility of the truck. And Stenios Kimboropoulos from Greece. And is this your first freedom drive? No, it's the second one. Uh, my first one was uh, 2009. I think that uh, the most uh, uh, delightful time was uh, um, the march uh, where uh, under the rain and uh, the bad weather uh, 100 and more people were, were, were here, we were there. And uh, you remember the... And, uh, and uh, the second one that we did to meet uh, uh, around uh, 14, 15 members, member of European Parliament. From my right eye, so if I hit, if you hit it, then I'm totally fine. So if you're playing with my eyes, then I can't trust you. My name is Mari Zilzalo. Um, I I think as uh, all disabled people, the uh, the wrong politics that. Uh, uh, instead of making community-based uh, services accessible, they are putting people to live in institutions. So, y youngsters, they, they can't uh, develop normally, they can't get normal education, they can't get normal working experience, and uh, that's how things start. And uh, this is the problem that institutions are producing uh, people who can't take care of themselves and give uh, and uh, do invest to the uh, to uh, to the invest to the society because they're just not able to do it. And if there's one thing you could say to uh, European Parliament about disabled people, what would be the one key message you would say? Nothing about us without us. from Bulgaria. And is this your first film drive? Yes. Can you give me your impressions of how you felt? And yeah, I'm very impressed. Uh, I never been on such an event, and uh, I like it very much. The spirit, uh, 
the whole atmosphere around. It was amazing. My name is Gats Zaunitz. I came from Latvia. My position in Il are a coordinator in Latvia. So my impressions of uh, my first Strasbourg Freedom Drive is uh, it was impressive. So uh, a lot of uh, inspiring person and uh, everyone had uh, almost the same aim, the same issues for MEPs and uh, from my point of view we make step forward to gain or to reach our aims. And can you tell me what the biggest problem facing young disabled people in Latvia is? Um, the biggest problem are accessibility. So without accessibility they cannot go outside of homes and to be included in uh, activities in society. And um, so it's like a puzzle, you know. Uh, if there are no accessibility it's no matter what uh, are around. If they can get uh, be included in uh, some festivals or not because they cannot get out of home, so why they should go there? So I think only problem is accessibil accessibility from where everything begins. And if there's one message you could tell the European Parliament, what would it be? Rights, not charity. Rights, not charity. Rights. <laughs>